Voyager 1 probe, the most distant human-made object in the universe, is sending usable information to Earth. Left off. After a prolonged period of silence, humanity's farthest reaching creation, Voyager 1, has resumed contact. Following months of transmitting only unintelligible data, this pioneering spacecraft, now 45 years into its extraordinary mission, has suddenly re-established clear communication. The information it's sending back has left the scientific community in shock, with one distinguished physicist warning. This fundamentally alters our understanding. We may be observing something that defies conventional existence. The re-emergence of Voyager's signal wasn't gradual, or expected it happened suddenly, as if a switch had been flipped in the depths of space. Engineers at NASA's Deep Space Network facility first noticed the change during a routine listening window. What began as the same garbled noise they'd grown accustomed to abruptly shifted to coherent telemetry. Within hours, mission specialists were huddled around monitors, their faces illuminated by screens displaying data streams that shouldn't exist. We thought we'd lost her, one project scientist admitted. After all these decades, no one would have blamed the old girl for finally giving up. But instead, she's not just talking again, she's telling us something new. The Grand Tour, a cosmic alignment. Deployed in 1977, Voyager 1 was engineered with an expected lifespan of perhaps a decade. Instead, it has endured 45 years traversing the most inhospitable environment conceivable. Its journey past Jupiter and Saturn propelled it outward via gravitational forces into the vast unknown beyond our planetary neighborhood. What enabled this remarkable achievement wasn't solely ingenious engineering, but a celestial coincidence occurring only once every 176 years, a perfect planetary alignment that allowed scientists to catapult Voyager from planet to planet using gravitational assistance, conserving fuel while achieving unprecedented velocity and distance. This strategic trajectory, dubbed the Grand Tour, proved extraordinarily successful. The enormity of this achievement cannot be overstated. When Voyager's trajectory was originally calculated, computers filled entire rooms yet possessed less processing power than today's smartwatches. The navigational precision required was equivalent to hitting a golf ball in New York and making a hole in one in Los Angeles. And yet, somehow, they succeeded. The Voyager team's original projections suggested the spacecraft might remain operational until the late 1980s. No one imagined that in 2025, its radioactive power source would still generate enough electricity to maintain essential systems. Built from technology that predates the internet, personal computers, and digital cameras, Voyager has outlasted most of the companies that manufactured its components. Today, Voyager 1 hovers more than 14 billion miles from Earth, venturing where no human-made signal had previously reached until Voyager began transmitting findings that defy scientific explanation. It takes over 22 hours for its signal to reach Earth, traveling at the speed of light. By comparison, light from our sun reaches Earth in just eight minutes. Impossible readings, challenging physics. Following a period of corrupted transmissions, something unexpected occurred Voyager when resumed sending interpretable data. However, this information contains anomalies that challenge comprehension. Scientists have detected peculiar plasma variations, magnetic field alterations, and unexpected particle density increases. Most puzzling is that these measurements don't correspond with anything previously observed in interstellar space. One researcher remarked, the spacecraft appears to have moved beyond the solar system into something entirely different. More perplexing still, cosmic ray orientations and magnetic field alignments display inconsistencies, suggesting Voyager 1 has entered a novel space domain one no current interstellar physics model can explain. It's as though reality's fundamental properties are transforming. What's particularly baffling to astrophysicists is the particle acceleration patterns. According to established models, interstellar particles should move along predictable trajectories influenced by distant stellar sources. Voyager's instruments are detecting particles accelerating in impossible directions, as if being influenced by forces operating outside our known physical laws. The density measurements alone have caused heated debate among plasma physicists. 
We're seeing concentrations that should collapse under their own gravitational influence, explained one scientist, yet they remain stable, almost artificially maintained. Some have suggested the presence of dark matter could explain these anomalies, but the distribution pattern matches no existing dark matter model, the liminal zone, between known and unknown. When Voyager 1 traversed the heliosphere boundary, marking the limit of our sun's influence, it entered what scientists presumed was vacant interstellar space. Current data reveals this region is anything but empty. The spacecraft detects turbulence, plasma waves, and charged particle storms with no discernible origin. More concerning are gravitational anomalies causing subtle, yet measurable spacecraft drift, influenced by undetectable forces. It's not stellar gravitation or asteroid collisions, so what explains this motion? Some theorize Voyager has entered a transitional region, a threshold space between familiar territory and what lies beyond where established physics principles may no longer hold true. Ancient cultures across Earth shared a common concept liminal spaces, thresholds between known realms and the beyond. From Greek mythology's River Styx to Aboriginal Dreamtime boundaries, humans have always conceptualized transition zones where normal rules cease to apply. Now, at the edge of our solar neighborhood, Voyager appears to have found a cosmic equivalent. The spacecraft's trajectory calculations show minute deviations that compound over time. These aren't random. They follow what mathematicians describe as ordered chaos, a pattern suggesting influence by an organizing principle we don't yet comprehend. When plotted across three-dimensional space, these deviations create a spiral pattern that slowly pulls Voyager toward an unknown focal point. Nobel laureate's warning, paradigm shift. For years, most scientists maintained caution observing, analyzing, and deliberating. Now, a distinguished Nobel Prize winning physicist has issued an unsettling declaration. Voyager 1 is capturing patterns incompatible with current universal models. We may be witnessing evidence of another spatial domain or structure. While stopping short of invoking additional dimensions, many wonder, could Voyager 1 be approaching the threshold of something entirely different? A multiverse? A simulated space boundary? Perhaps the periphery of a cosmic construct beyond current imagination? Throughout history, our conception of the universe has undergone several radical transformations the Laureate explained in a hastily convened press conference that has since been viewed millions of times online. From a flat Earth to a heliocentric solar system, from a single galaxy to billions, each paradigm shift revealed our previous model was merely a simplified approximation of a far more complex reality. The distinguished physicist's statement was carefully worded but unmistakable in its implications. What Voyager is showing us suggests our current cosmological model may be as incomplete as Ptolemy's Earth-centered universe. The data points to structural properties of space itself that no existing theory can accommodate. Three major physics journals have fast-tracked special editions dedicated to analyzing Voyager's anomalous data. Academic institutions worldwide have redirected telescope time to focus on the region of space Voyager is traversing. Even CERN has announced plans to modify certain experimental protocols to test theories emerging from the spacecraft's readings. The pulse, a cosmic response. Among recent transmissions, scientists discovered a rhythmic fluctuation, a pulse emanating from a region Voyager, one recently navigated. This signal isn't natural background radiation. It's structured, timed, and recurring. Initially dismissed as interference or equipment malfunction, the pattern's consistency matches no recognized stellar phenomenon, not pulsars, quasars, or any documented radiation source. Then came a disturbing realization. The pulse appears responsive during specific intervals, increasing slightly following each Voyager data transmission, as though something is listening and responding. Signal analysts have applied every known filtering technique to isolate and identify the pulse's origin. What they found defies conventional explanation. The pulse contains embedded patterns that mirror prime number sequences the universal language of mathematics that SETI researchers have long theorized would form the basis of any intentional cosmic communication. More unsettling still, the interval between pulse sequences correlates precisely with the delay between Voyager's transmission 
and the time required for a response to reach the spacecraft from Earth. It's as if the source is observing our communication protocol and mimicking it with perfect precision. Cryptographers who successfully decoded previously unknown ancient languages have been quietly consulted. Their preliminary analysis suggests an underlying structure too ordered to be random, but too alien to match human communication patterns. One linguist, speaking on condition of anonymity, described it as language-like, but constructed according to rules that don't match any evolutionary linguistic development we've ever studied. The cosmic lattice, hidden patterns emerge. An engineer decoding Voyager's latest signals observed something remarkable. Visualizing magnetic field variations as a three-dimensional model revealed an emerging pattern, not random noise, but a spiral framework repeating with near-perfect symmetry. Some believe this represents a gravitational lattice, a cosmic framework beyond current understanding. Others propose it could signify an artificial structure far beyond our solar system or universe. Either interpretation lacks precedent in astrophysics, yet Voyager 1 traveled directly through it. When rendered through advanced modeling software, the pattern resembles geometric structures found throughout mathematical history from the golden ratio to fractal recursions to platonic solids. These same geometric principles appear across diverse human cultures, from ancient temple architecture to Renaissance art proportions to contemporary network theory. Particularly intriguing is how the lattice structure interacts with cosmic radiation. As charged particles encounter this framework, they don't simply pass through or deflect they reorganize, following new trajectories that maintain the structural integrity of the lattice itself. It's as if the particles are being actively guided rather than passively influenced by natural forces. Theoretical physicists specializing in string theory have noted striking similarities between the lattice configuration and their mathematical models of hyperdimensional space. What we're seeing could be the physical manifestation of higher dimensional geometries projecting into our three-dimensional space, explained one researcher. It's like witnessing the shadow of a four-dimensional object. Reality glitches, existing in multiple spaces. Voyager 1's onboard systems exhibit erratic behavior, not typical for aging technology. Its orientation sensors report contradictory positions simultaneously, as though existing in multiple coordinate spaces concurrently. More bizarrely, its signal shows minute, but measurable transmission speed variations, suggesting passage through regions where space-time fabric appears distorted. This isn't mere instrument deterioration, some researchers now quietly propose that Voyager may have entered variable dimensional space concepts theoretical physicists, once confined to academic discussions, now potentially manifested with Voyager at their center. Engineers who designed Voyager's guidance systems have been brought out of retirement to analyze the anomalies. Their conclusion is startling. The contradictory readings aren't caused by sensor failure, but appear to be accurate measurements of incompatible realities. In simplest terms, Voyager seems to exist in slightly different positions simultaneously. The signal transmission variations follow a predictable pattern that correlates with the spacecraft's position relative to the lattice structure. It's as though Voyager is passing through regions where the fundamental constants of physics, including the speed of light, fluctuate according to position within the cosmic framework. The cosmic messenger, ambassador to the unknown, Voyager's original mission observing gas giants before drifting away has evolved into something profound, revealing reality's true composition. What began as planetary exploration has become a voyage into the universe's unknown architecture. Ironically, the spacecraft carrying humanity's golden record message to the cosmos may be the first to receive one in return. The golden record aboard Voyager contains sounds and images portraying Earth's diversity of life and culture, a time capsule designed for any intelligence that might encounter it in the distant future. Created under Carl Sagan's guidance, it includes greetings in 55 languages, music from various cultures, and sounds ranging from thunderstorms to whale songs. Now the spacecraft carrying this message appears to be generating data that itself constitutes a return message not from alien civilizations, but from the fabric of reality itself. The universe seems to be responding to our tentative first steps beyond our solar cradle. Beyond the edge, what Voyager truly discovered.
Voyager 1 was never intended for such distances. Launched with 1970s technology less computing power than a digital watch aimed at planets, we thought we understood, it now transmits data forcing Nobel laureates to reconsider universal fundamentals. A pulse behaving like communication. Patterns hidden in magnetic noise. Spatial anomalies suggesting multiple realities. A journey appearing less like solar system departure and more like an encounter with something else, something ancient, beyond physics, perhaps observing. Our cosmic ambassador may have found reality's edge or worse, something beyond it. Is Voyager 1 still exploring space, or revealing that space as we conceived it has already concluded? Is Voyager crossing into new spatial dimensions, or are we witnessing the first indication that humanity was never alone? Subscribe for updates, as Voyager's next transmission could deliver the message humanity has awaited since time immemorial. As Voyager's power supply continues, its inevitable decay expected to fall below critical levels, within the next decade scientists race against time to extract every possible insight from its remaining transmissions. Several private space enterprises have proposed ambitious missions to intercept Voyager with faster, more advanced probes though even at maximum acceleration. Such missions would take decades to reach its current position. Religious leaders, philosophers and cultural commentators struggle to integrate these discoveries into existing worldviews. Some see confirmation of ancient mystical teachings about interconnected realms of existence. Others fear the implications of a universe potentially conscious or constructed. Many find hope in the suggestion that reality may be vaster and more wondrous than we ever imagined. As we await each new transmission with bated breath, we must ask ourselves, are we ready for what Voyager might reveal next? The universe may be stranger than we can suppose, or perhaps stranger than we can suppose.